You really know fall's arrived when I've stopped sweating completely through my shirt before I've even started filming. It feels good. It feels good. Today we're going to be talking about my current favorite products. So most of these things were taken straight from my travel makeup bag. I feel like that's how I personally know when I really love a product is when I can't even fathom the thought of leaving town and going on a trip without taking it with me. I feel like they have been making my face. You know what I mean? They really they just are all the pieces of my face that I have on right now. I went to Massachusetts this past weekend and I was on a little girls retreat with my mom and some family friends and we had a blast and drank a lot of wine and talked pretty much for 72 hours straight. Not drank wine, but we talked. We talked a lot as girls tend to do. And I actually did wear most of the products that I brought. I think I brought everything except for the eyeshadows because I don't really like I'm just going away for the weekend. I'm not doing a whole lot with my eyeshadow. I'm going to bring the eyeshadows or the lip things that I'm going to show you. Everything else has been in my bag. It's been staying in my bag. Let's get started. So the first product is a facial mist. I got way out of using any kind of facial spray. I used to live and die by MAC Fix Plus and honestly I haven't touched a bottle of that stuff in a while because two reasons. They used to be great for me when I was wearing a lot of powder products, heavy full coverage foundations, tons of setting powder, powder blush, powder highlighter, powder bronzer, all that, and I would need that spray to bring my skin back to life. Now I'm using more cream products. They sort of do that for you and also I could never stand using facial sprays for the one simple reason that I would always get it in my hair. Let me just tell you about this one. This is the Fresh Vitamin Nectar Antioxidant Glow Water. And I love the formula. The spraying, the misting mechanism of this though is by far my favorite thing about this. I mean, the formula too. But it's more of like a, just a, <laughs> the tiniest, softest little plume of mist comes out. It's a very small radius too. So we're getting scientific about this. So you can really control exactly where you want it to go. You can spray it all around your face in the exact areas you want it. It does not get in your hair. It's just a perfectly even ultra fine mist and the formula of this is great. It's just what I need. It's not like overly dewy or crazy or watery. It just makes your skin really softly glow and feel hydrated. It's crazy too because it makes it makes your skin feel softer, and I don't mean like when you touch it, it feels softer, like your actual, you can feel it on your skin. You can feel your skin feeling softer. My mom really loved this too. Um, when we were in Massachusetts, I made her try this out and she was a little skeptical. Not all about the face mist but she really liked it too. And been loving the Cover FX Power Play Concealer. The shade that I have here is N Medium 1. I have a lighter shade that I alternate with as well, and I'll list everything down below in the info box, but the packaging on this one does get a little messy from time to time. You have to clean it up, but I love the doe foot applicator. It's essentially just a big fuzzy ball, pretty much, and I like to just stamp it in the inner corner of my eye. It's like the perfect size and shape just to stamp it right there. It really brightens up your eyes. I also use it for my dark circles around the rest of my face to cover up blemishes and redness and stuff like that. I just feel like it's a really good multitasking high coverage concealer that looks really natural. It doesn't look overly thick or cakey. Again, you have to clean it up every now and then. It's not without its flaws, but I do love this concealer. Again, the Cover FX Power Play. <sighs> I've been building up to this moment, dreaming about it anticipation has been building um, because I've been loving this next product so much. This is the Charlotte Tilbury Hollywood Flawless Filter for a Superstar Youth Glow. This is such an interesting product. It comes in a bunch of shades. The one I've been using is too light. It comes with a little doe foot and it's a really, really cool illuminator. It's almost like a concealer mixed with a liquid illuminator. It's the exact type of glow that I've been loving so much. So the way I would describe the glow that it gives you is just straight up like beaming light. It's not, this one is not overly gold or shimmery, yellowy or anything. And I love the fact that it is tinted. I don't know why. <laughs> I don't know. Usually I can vocalize my thoughts 
pretty well. But this one has been, I don't know why I love that so much. I think it's because if I want to do something a bit lighter coverage, like my Airborean CC cream, I can use this under it or over it, and that's a more sheer product. But either way, this adds to the end goal of like getting more coverage. So I can add this on underneath or over top and it's, you know, further blurring things out. It's not just adding like a straight up stripe of dewiness on my cheekbones, if that makes sense. So I like to layer this under my foundations and get like a really pretty lip from within look. Or you can also mix it with your foundations because it is tinted. You can use it to adjust the shade of your foundation if it's a bit too dark. Or of course you can just apply it right over top like a normal liquid illuminator. I just love this. I just love the quality of the highlight. I have something layered over top of it so you're not going to see it like straight up on my face. But um, it's underneath my foundation here. So next up I want to show you guys the Milk Makeup Matte Bronzer Stick. And it says it has a shade which I didn't even realize uh, it had one. But it says baked on it. Now this thing is so funny because this is a very distinct scent but it doesn't bother me for some reason. This smells like straight up. Play-Doh. I've never smelled anything that smells more like Play-Doh except for actual Play-Doh. It's honestly bizarre, but I don't even really notice it anymore when I apply it. Um, I love this though. The color is perfect for my skin tone. It's just like a nice, soft, warm caramel color. So it's the perfect level of bronze where I don't have to worry about blending and blending and blending because it's like ultra ultra deep for my skin tone it's just you know a couple shades darker and it's really a beautiful formula it's a beautiful bronze glow that it gives honestly it's not like a contour type of look at all it's very very subtle very soft but it's just enough to give your to give your skin a really nice sun kiss look and because it is a cream it looks more natural and authentic another cream product that i'm obsessed with. This is the Nude Sticks Nudies Bloom All Over Dewy Color, and the shade is Poppy Girl. I have a really close friend named Poppy, so it always reminds me of her when I apply this. What's up, Pop? <laughs> but this color is so, so beautiful. What would you describe this as? I would say just like a punchy pink color, but it's that perfect color to where, you know, you apply it, it's a little bit more pigmented, and then you just blend it down, and I use like a synthetic brush. You could totally just use your fingers though, 100%. And it gives you that like perfect lip from within pink. It's honestly so gorgeous. And because it's the all over dewy color, it still retains a glow. And so you don't even really need a highlighter over top of this. This is like your one and done type of product. It's so, so pretty. It's really pretty across the nose. But what I love to do is tap this onto my lips before I apply anything else. And so that way I have that base on my lips and as my other products on top will start to fade. I'll still have a little bit of color because I have very like translucent lips. And the coordinated look you get with the cheek and the lip is very, very pretty and very easy and quick to do. So next up is another Charlotte Tilbury product. This is the Cheek to Cheek Swish and Pop Blusher. And this is the shade The Climax. I have never met one of these uh, Swish and Pop blushes that I haven't loved, honestly. They're all so beautiful. They all have a color in the center and then a different one in the outer edges. And you can mix them together and apply it to your cheeks, which is what I normally do. I also use this to do my eyeshadow today, so it's nice that you have the two colors for like your crease and your lid. Um, and this one in the Climax is just a really beautiful combo because the center is a nice like terracotta peach color and then the outer shade is like a rosy bronze. It's just the perfect little addition to your face. It's almost like a bronzer because it's that perfect medium tone between a blush and a bronzer. It's not too intense either. It's not like too intensely pigmented. It's just a really nice, it goes on really nice and even. The color is very smooth. This is honestly hasn't left my makeup bag in months. Okay, and then we have my go-to highlight, which has been the Becca Shimmering Skin Perfector Liquid in the shade Opal. I have been all about the silver reflect in my highlights and this one has just been perfect. It is a beautiful peachy tone and it has that silver reflect. And the reason that I love that is because I think that is what really gives you that glass skin look, that just wet shine that is so pretty. I've actually been using a brush to apply it. I really love that method. I think sometimes with the beauty blender, because this is a very liquidy liquid, 
it can sort of start to go all over the place. And because this is a very intense glow, you really do want to keep it in just the high points, I would say. But it has a really nice cushiony hydrating feel to it as well. I think that really helps. It's not just like suspended shimmer. It has a really nice feel on the skin. All right guys, this next one, I didn't expect to love as much as I do. And I really, really love this. This is the Pat McGrath Labs Skin Fetish Sublime Perfection Foundation. The shade I've been using is Light Medium 11. Now I was sent this product. So when I wanted to include it in my favorites, I really had to think about, is this something that I'm going to repurchase? And as of right now, I would 100% repurchase this. I didn't expect to love this at all when I first like dispensed it out onto my skin or out onto my hand. It was a very runny, very liquidy foundation. Typically those have not been my type of products because I just feel like they settle in. I don't even really have an issue with pores, um, but I feel like they just kind of show your pores more. They kind of just show texture for me anyways, something a bit thicker, like creamier, sort of fills everything in. Um, I was so pleasantly surprised to discover that although it is very thin and kind of runny, it makes your skin look beautiful. So, so beautiful and smooth. And also just the bottle is gorgeous. I can apply the least amount of this foundation and have it go all over my face. When I first tried it, I just dotted on a little bit on my cheeks, started blending. And all of a sudden I was like blending over here because it's the kind of formula that just sort of like multiplies. And all of a sudden you have covered your entire face and so I guess what I'm trying to say is a very tiny bit of this will go a long way. Um, that's quick for me because I just use a tiny bit and I'm good to go. And I feel like it makes my skin look really, really beautiful. It covers everything, but I don't have to use a ton of it so it doesn't look like I'm wearing a ton of makeup. It's very light and comfortable on the skin. I feel like it looks light and really natural on the skin. I want to talk about these eyeshadows. This one I've been keeping in the box because it is so special to my life that I don't want it to change in any way. Like I don't want the formula to dry out. I don't want it to get wetter. I want it to stay, not that it would in the box. I, I want it to stay exactly the same. Never change. This is the Natasha Denona Chroma Crystal Top Coat. And I've been using the shade Metal Bronze. So it's perfect for a sparkly, smoky bronze eye look. What I'll do, and because it's such an interesting texture, it's it's creamy, but it's not, again, ultra wet. So it has like a drier feel going on, which I was very surprised by at first. It has this amazing velvety look on the eyes. So I'll apply it first with my finger all across my lid, and then I will take a brush and either blend out the edges of that, or I'll dip the brush right in the pot and just apply it a little bit more around the edges and buff it out. It's so easy to work with in that sense. It's very versatile and blends out so beautifully. I just love this. You can have like a smoky bronze look in seconds. Okay, not seconds, but it's very quick. <laughs> and what I did today was actually I did my favorite technique of the moment, which is using just like a really rich brown powder eyeshadow and doing a wing with that. And then I took this and uh, kind of, I guess you could call it like smudged out that wing with it, or I just lightly went over top of the wing with this and it softened it out further and gave it a bit more of a glowy sheen to my eyeliner. Yes, so the Natasha Denona Chroma Crystal Top Coat in Metal Bronze going back in your little house. So next up is this little, it doesn't really say the name of what it actually is on the product, um, but it's just like a little eyeshadow stack type of a thing. This is by Kaja, what's called Orange Blossom. So the first Shade is like a sparkling peach color. And then the second one is a really pretty like sunset golden pink type of shade. And then this one they threw in there too, um, but it does work and it's actually my favorite one and it's not very typical of me, but this is a pretty taupey brown. Usually I never wear taupey brown, especially next to this Natasha Denona shadow. You can really see that it is a bit of a wetter look, but it's also just a lot of little multicolor sparkles in there. So I feel like regardless of your eye color, this one would really play up on your eye color. <laughs> That's what I'm trying to say. A lip combo I wanted to share. I really love this lipstick by Laura Mercier. This is in the shade, um, this is the Rouge Essential, Essential, and um, the shade L'Orange. 
and it's a really beautiful red. I don't ever wear colors like this. Um, actually, it's not a red. It's like a strawberry punchy type of color, but this is the kind of color that is so, like it's so unique. It looks like you mix a bunch of colors together and it's really pretty. It's a really nice like juicy formula and it's the kind of shade that you could take uh, on your finger and just sort of dab on and create a really pretty like blurry, juicy type of glowy pink lip. I know it's not like a super fall color or anything like that, but I did make it a little bit more appropriate for this time of year. The other day I posted a picture on Instagram and I had like a couple different colors in my winged eyeliner and then I had sort of like a blurry red lip. And what I did was I just went back and forth and dabbed on layers of that one and also Lady Danger Lipstick by MAC. I mean, this is just always like an all time favorite. So if you mix them together, you kind of get something in the middle, which obviously, if you mix them together, you get the color in the center. I don't feel like this is some grand, like, big reveal here because they're all very similar shades. They play off each other very well. So if you go back and forth between the two, dabbing them on, you get sort of a red that's a little bit more playful and juicy. And that's exactly what I was going for um, that day. And I really, really love the mix of those two shades, that's all I'm gonna say. All right, okay, so those are all of my current makeup obsessions. Um, I hope you guys enjoyed this, got a little something out of it. I hope it's not really, really long. I have no idea how long I've been sitting here. Feels like days. I'm thirsty. All right. Okay. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I love you all so, so much. Thank you for always being so supportive of me and my channel and my videos. And I hope you're having a great day. And I will see you very soon in my next one. Bye, guys.